Hello everyone, welcome to Sim Reviews, and we are back with another video. In this video, we are going to talk about the new Windows 10 update. That's the preview update for the phones. Uh, in previous month, Microsoft uh, did an event uh, dedicated to Windows 10, in which they talked about the latest build of the Windows 10 for the desktop, tablets, and phones. Basically, all the screen sizes running even on the new uh, Surface Hub. That's uh, the a big TV, big screen TV, and they promised that a preview for the phones would be launched in Feb. And here is the update. We have actually updated our Lumia 730 to the Windows 10 preview for the phones. And uh, before updating, I would like to say that this is basically the earliest build ever Microsoft has announced. Even Microsoft told that uh, there's a risk even losing your data uh, losing your uh, uh, any any uh, important data you have in your phone and even voiding the warranty depending upon your carrier and where you have bought the phone from so it has actually so the update is quite risky to do and you should actually have a spare a spare windows phone to do it that that's advisable for you if you want an update and and if you want to take the risk with the phone just go ahead and install it uh, there's a windows insider uh, windows insider app uh, yeah it is you click on the get preview build where you choose an option from the fast insider and slow insider that's uh, if you choose a slow insider you won't get update now uh, the slow insider would be the builds are that which are tested by the fast insiders. There's another option fast insider It's the latest build uh, which Microsoft rolls out uh, the fast insider first gets it uh, test its uh, The bugs are reported Microsoft solves those bugs and later on the stable build of that uh, Preview is launched as in slow insider. So you actually test how slow insider are for the developers uh, who who is gonna test their apps on the Windows 10 and the first insider are for the testers the alpha tester so basically you uh, click on the get preview build we don't have uh, data connection now here so get preview build uh, would uh, actually take you to the option uh, slow insider and fast insider and selecting the appropriate option uh, there would the phone would be rebooting and then you can go and check in the Windows update uh, the uh, where you uh, where you would uh, ask uh, to update the phone we actually updated the phone and this is how it looks now uh, it's a little buggy so a uh, bit of slow and that's so much bugs in it and it's not for the daily usage if you are installing it on your daily phone beware because sometimes your phone uh, the dialer won't even start so it's a risk it's it's quite a risk so install it on a spare phone or any phone uh, or if you're installing on your daily basis have an extra phone for uh, for the uh, daily usage for calls messaging and different things so here's the start screen uh, pretty no change in the start screen because you can't see it um, there's a bug in for the lumia 730 the background image doesn't shows up uh, now uh, when i pull down the notification bar and again pull up you can basically see the notification, uh, the background image for um, quite a second, a millisecond, I say. That's the and it just uh, gets away. So it's a bug in it. Basically, a new, not something uh, new start screen, and same app list goes on. App list has also get uh, got the new background image for. Uh, working around and it also shows some background image for some time uh, you can actually see um, here it's not showing but in the start screen you can see it so it's a bug uh, it would be solved in the later builds so let's just uh, uh, go ahead and see what changes you get this is the notification bar and now in the notification bar you can actually have the phone to uh, you can actually uh, have 
what your notification is saying you can preview your notification a single notification can be swiped out and <coughs> the new when the uh, earlier in early uh, in windows 8.1 there was only some uh, four icons in the uh, toggle uh, now you can actually add more toggles you can expand and collapse it and that's a little buggy there also so the le uh, that three remain and then hide so uh, you cannot actually uh, see the what apps you add what apps you remove it's pretty uh, it, it's not customizable uh, customizable at the moment and it would be available later so yes the new settings screen where you can uh, see all those different settings uh, all those different layout of the new settings uh, window and it's actually now well sorted uh, if you have used windows 8.1 it was all jumbled up you won't actually know where uh, where your setting is where this setting and you actually sometimes get lost in the settings menu so here yeah, it's actually quite sorted uh, between the system devices network internet personalization accounts times and language and the things which aren't sorted are moved to the extras so extra extras have your nokia account the display device have extras and info and so this is the system the display notification actions as i said you you cannot change um, notification now you, you have just four options and you can uh, as you change this four options they either jump to the upper or come at the lower position and basically it remains same so it's a mix up of uh, the windows 10 for the desktop and the new because i have uh, set it a dark option for the uh, uh, for the background and sometimes it just shows white so that's a bug uh, would be solved in later builds and the next is devices where your bluetooth uh, printers mouse nfc you can even project your screen that there, there were different options this was a different option in windows 8.1 and this account what account you have what are your accounts the microsoft account either your mail account or different and here's the update and recovery for the windows update uh, phone update and the backup uh, both are set as a same option so this is a setting screen it was a user request and actually microsoft has given it now so that's great and the second thing is now lumia users would uh, always have this advantage of lumia camera so it was basically a, a, a great camera app and the a different uh, windows phone users from different vendor would be actually jealous because you don't get that much feature but now microsoft has given uh, some great features to the uh, the default camera app you can actually have those all settings um, at one place that's image clicking up and even if you want to record a short video you can do that uh, just click on the camera and uh, keep it pressed it's all recorded so and later it's actually also fast as bug as this buggy build is uh, so it's it's actually fast and performs well and the new app uh, which i loved most is the new file explorer uh, file explorer so earlier it was files uh, the files app it, it's actually there also uh, but you get this new file explorer and it's quite uh, handy giving all those um, what uh, what you have and of course not sh uh, showing those system folders uh, it doesn't show that and it's actually good uh, that it doesn't shows it it's basically great uh, the recent as uh, same if you have uh, seen windows 10 on desktop there's a recent uh, when you open the explorer you get those recent uh, files and this is uh, what it is the device um, the phone memory the memory card and the recent so the next app uh, which i love is the file explorer and the basic uh, a great uh, way to share your files or show your files actually the la uh, the last uh, which files menu is al also there and the latest new file explorer is given it's a great app i think 
latest entry to the Windows 10 apps that uh, would be available for both Windows 10 for desktop and for phones. It has this recent what you have accessed in the recent times the phone memory that's this device and also your memory card. So it's uh, all also a great uh, usable and when you actually switch in the landscape mode you get this dual view you can actually go and select the menu also opens very great uh, it actually looks great and that's something more and that's not buggy actually it, it's actually pretty fast and great uh, I love this new file explorer and it has given a new reason to actually be proud of your the windows phone the new app which has got the new redesigned user interface is the new phone app and this the new tabs have uh, got the the history and the speed dials and that and that's great and then there's also the new dialer it's actually quite small saying uh, you would sometimes type even the uh, wrong numbers um, but yeah, it's in the recent stage, in the early stage, so you can expect that. And the next, the new, also uh, the, there's a redesigned app that's the Photos app. It's actually quite new looking and that's actually great. So you actually get this menu, the menu is... Uh, you can see those hamburger bu uh, burger buttons option buttons that's called the albums are coming soon in the later update the folder views and also this is the setting the toggle this is the new toggle actually for the new windows 10 feature and that's great you can but i have uh, uh, this actually creates a problem because the app doesn't get back uh, if you select this album and then go folders press the back albums and then you get into collection it actually runs like a browser you can you are actually that's like uh, you are browsing in a browser you get you press the back and go to the previous page so that's actually uh, i think it should be solved in the later builds and actually it's great so great update uh, Windows 10 and also we get this new uh, feature uh, actually it's not new uh, it's the first time added uh, in the Windows phone because uh, in earlier builds we uh, used uh, not have used to not have this sound recorder and now actually Windows team has given this so a new sound recorder app that's great if you want to uh, record some sounds and I think that would be I uh, actually an update for even recording sound uh, when you are in on some call you get this new search uh, that's Cortana uh, it's actually not available in India now so let's just check it later later on when uh, it would become available and actually there's a new calculator in earlier uh, Windows 8.1, there was only this three standard scientific and programmer, and now you can actually have this converters. And there's volume, length, weight, temperature, energy, speed, time, power, and different things. So pretty good and decent feedback to those. And the next feature we're gonna talk about is the new. Uh, uh, the new feature you can actually interact uh, the live notifications which comes uh, there's this messaging uh, you can actually type it on the notification bar or as it just pops down and you can type whatever you want so and this on the keyboard you see there's the little dot and that's the precision key actually and if you want to move the cursor to the right uh, left or the bottom above and uh, you can move it easily and uh, type type however you want so that's actually a great feature uh, for editing and different things so that's actually cool and this is all about this new windows 10 
it actually takes uh, time to install uh, depending upon your connection and the phone storage uh, the downloading of the in, in update uh, actually take uh, around three to four minutes for us and the preparation time took around next 10 to 15 minutes the uh, for, uh, installation time was another 20 minutes or and last that was the migration of the apps that the apps were uh, uh, like made available for the windows 10 those uh, apps the data were transferred to the uh, phone memory uh, took another around 15 minutes so uh, the whole update was actually installed in one hour uh, and it actually quite fast but it does depends on your connection and the phone storage uh, in which the update is going to be installed first downloaded and then installed it's quite buggy now and there's actually a risk um, even microsoft tells us uh, it's the earliest preview ever that microsoft has uh, rolled out so there's this warning statement actually even i want to give you a warning uh, please do not install it on your regular basis phone you might uh, broke it and won't be able to use your phone it's actually buggy uh, more buggy so it's the earliest preview and please do take precautions while installing and that's great uh, there would be more uh, updates coming soon this is the fast insider just wait around one to two weeks and you would uh, actually get the get the latest and stable build of the preview that inside is slow and you can install then till then if you like this video please do hit the like button and if you have any queries or questions or advice or suggestions for us uh, please do comment in the comment section below find this video helpful so please share it uh, share this word and this is sim reviews saying bye